You won't, you won't shut us off from court from Brook Street next year. Okay. Not. Only in the spring. Yeah, you're right. right oh, right. but only in the spring. spring. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. we just don't want to keep adding another road to the list. Mm -mm. No, see, that's a federal <coughs> road. So yeah. there is dollars to find. Right. It's just to find. But I just know that if you all of a sudden take log trucks, you know, mm -hmm. you take the what came out of of uh, Cooper Run up there, you know, and you put that a, put that on Brook Street, you wouldn't have a road. No. And, Usually, I talk to the logger and send them out Quarry Hill. Right. And it, I understand. Normally, they're decent about yeah, it. Yeah. Right. So. And those guys at Larry Strauss's were good about it. You know. Yeah. That's why right, Quarry Hill's got all the. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> so this leads right into your question about pulling logs off of your property. Yeah, I'm stuck in the middle. Now we're going to cut them. Now we're going to cut them. Yeah, yeah. why'd you cut them? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like to eat and pay the taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's getting down to the line. i got to get my logs out of there before the mill shuts down. Skip down the park, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got to get up to Essex, and he can go up over by the mountain, so he ain't on the dirt road. Mm -hmm. Jacques calls him, doesn't he? Yeah. He called last week. Did he get a load? No, he said he couldn't haul. I told him he could Friday morning. Well, he told me that he couldn't haul. <laughs> yeah, because he called. He couldn't haul today too, because it ain't. You know. I called. My landing gets muddy, and I have to shut down anyway. But it ain't. Yeah. It's froze hard. Yeah. And I got to get my logs out of there. Yeah. He Last year they wouldn't take any till after July 4th when they shut down. So when did they shut down the mill? As soon as they get filled up. Because yeah. it's still February, it should cool off a little bit before <laughs> yet. I'm, I don't think it's quite spring yet. Yeah, but, but last, you know, February 22nd. I talked with them. Yeah, I talked with them last week, and they're getting filled up, so I got to get my logs out of there. Yeah. And tomorrow morning, it'll be froze tonight. Well. You ain't gonna haul all those in one load. Two. <laughs> Two. About five load there. And that, that's my living. Yeah. I understand, you know, the dirt roads should take it hard, but that is the blacktop. It might even help the blacktop if you did haul on there. You know, it's like saying, hey, I'm going to take your paycheck for the next month yeah. or two. Can the overweight permit be reworded so that it has more by permission? That way you're monitoring who's in your Well, he can go from his place over the mill, which right. is to North Hall. Right, he hasn't got to come down. Right. Yeah, because yeah, he called Wednesday and said, don't do it Thursday, but Friday morning, haul away. Somebody's car You really need middle hall. Really <laughs> hall <laughs> no, North Hall starts at... Okay, then it becomes middle hollow. Right, yeah. North Hollow so, so takes, right, takes a right middle hollow. Yes. It's really neat how they labeled it. Yeah. It really is. I'm on middle for a half a mile. <laughs> <laughs> so can I just ask, excuse me, Mike, are you saying you want you want to be able to move your, your logs down Bethel Mountain into the into the village? Or am I confused? You no, I gotta get them to the mill in Essex. The mill in Essex, okay. Yes. And where would you go? How would you would get you wouldn't go down Bethel Mountain Road? He'd have to because okay. he can't, right. he can't go on the okay. ground road. So he'll go over the mountain, right? Right. Yeah. That's the way Rodney has to go. Mm -hmm. Up and over. Okay. Up yeah. and over. Right. Yeah. I'd just like to get them logs off the land. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't believe if he done it this week, there's still frost in the ground. Oh, yeah. I guess there is. And, you know, the longer you wait, the worse it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. So it's up, I mean, how quick can you get on it? Tomorrow morning. Plus the reality is there about you know, this season is coming early. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah. coming earlier, and it's just yeah. going to keep getting worse if I yeah. Yeah. keep waiting. The roads were posted from yeah. February 22nd last year until May 8th. Well, we haven't posted them yet, right? <laughs> tomorrow. tomorrow. I want them tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to today, but I'm going to make sure Get out there and stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, can he, will he truck tomorrow? Yeah. Just to make oh, yeah. the yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I just want to get those five load off my land. Mm -hmm. That's you know. Like I said last year, when they got filled up, they shut everybody down. 
it was after the first of July and it's pine and it gets blue stain in it if it once it starts warming up. Yeah. So then they ain't no good. I'm, I'm sorry I'm where I am, but that's where it's at. And that's my living now. Yeah. You know, I had my rubbish room until I got run out of that. So <laughs> I can't even fall back on that now. You can't even eat the garbage. Uh, it's all garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Does the pop, does the select board oh, and um and their capabilities have the, have the ability to say, okay, let's give special permission for certain circumstances or to learn certain types of activities so people well, don't get caught like this at the yeah. end and just say, okay, you got two weeks and get it over with or something. Well, that's kind of what we were getting at with uh, the continued improvement <coughs> of, the, of the, you know, the road permit. Yeah, well, I'm talking the about permit. the immediate need. Oh, the immediate That we're talking about here, tonight. I think, well, yes, yeah, thank you. Like, yeah, yeah, so they have I guess that. that's would be the recommendation. No, no, I think we're all kind of in agreement that that needs to needs to happen, but you should definitely work around the the temperature. And, oh yeah, no, I don't I don't mind doing that. No, I'd call them when you go home and tell them tomorrow morning to show up for this truck. Right, you know I'm I'm stuck in a hard place right now. Not stuck in mud yet. Not yet. You know, like I said, there's still a lot of frost in the ground, and we keep waiting. It's going to even get even worse. What do you haul them down? Stockpile. And then, you know, short haul them off the hill. Or to where? I don't have any. <laughs> <Get out>. Your <laughs> place. Your yard. Bring them down. You're in the state, right? Um, you know, I'm not kind of a waste of time, too, you know, <laughs> loading and unloading. Yeah. Them. Yeah, it's expensive. You know, while he's loaded, why not go to the mill? Mm -hmm. And. So he's going to Essex, he say he doesn't want to go over Bethlehem Mountain Road and up? Yeah, that's so the way he he'd go. go. Right. Right. So he didn't have to go on the, the gravel right. road. Yeah. yeah. And that's the way Rodney goes, too. Yeah. You know, we, we don't do it if it's, you know, 70 degrees or something. Yeah. I'd want to keep waiting because the frost is going to come out of the ground, then it is going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. Right now, there still is frost. Plenty of that. <laughs> yeah. So that's why I'd like to get it, get him in there, get him hauled, and then if I have any more after that, we'll play it by ear. And, when the roads are froze, I don't care. It's just I'm gonna get when I get on the land and off there. Are you gonna keep cutting? Yeah. <laughs> so is, is this five loads gonna turn into ten? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna keep cutting, but like I just said, I'll work around the when the temperatures are froze. Well, I ain't gonna sit home with my thumb and my mm -hmm. my mouth all chopped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna work. But. I get these five load of pine out, and then I can keep working and work around the cold weather. It's just these five loads that I, are setting on the landing now. Well, well oddly enough, Mike, thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Check with Dan to see if it's froze hard enough. When? <laughs> just did. I'll haul them tomorrow. Not all tomorrow. Yeah, well, if he, I mean, no, if he can yeah. in there tomorrow, definitely. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm sure he'd haul all day if he right. can, right. right, you know. Yeah. I'm sure you'll get right in there and get him out of there. Right. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry about the confusion, but I, I never actually talked to him. I left him a message. Yeah. Because he called Wednesday, about Thursday. And I said, he said, really, not Thursday, but Friday morning is going to be good and hard. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, I'm sure if I look at the weather today and it, Looks like it ain't gonna freeze until Sunday, but that did good here, you know, because we are cold. <laughs> but that's my only thing. I want to get those five load of logs off my land and we'll go home and call them. <laughs> you kicking me out? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was nice. <laughs> He's trying to switch thumb there. <laughs> I thought I'd done good for myself. <laughs> wow. <laughs> first time I come, first time I've been thrown in. <laughs> I will leave that. <laughs> you don't have to. You're missing all the fun. But you can go home and watch it on Orca Media, though, if you think oh, that's it. okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've, had I've had enough entertainment for tonight. <laughs> All right, let's talk about something fun like fire trucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we got down this weekend and look at that, and she called me today, and we're right now we got the first chance. 
but there's two others that are waiting to look at and they're holding them. So you, we've got the <coughs> of refusal? Correct. All right. But you don't have another meeting for three weeks. Well, if you go down there and, and you like what you see, then we can always warrant a special meeting by posting it in free places and posting it on the website, <laughs> emailing it to the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, I, yeah. that's basically what I want, yeah. so we can not, I mean, we've been looking for, yeah, for no. near two or three years now for something, and, you know, they just aren't there. If they're there, they're gone within two weeks. So is that something that when you're down there, you're going to need to Take a call up here and, and no. get approval, or you, something? As long as I give them, say, we're going to do it, and then come <coughs> and actually have a meeting. Right. real soon and then what the deal is they'll draw up all the paperwork and like I explained before we can't have it till uh, August and so what we gotta pay is 10% down so when are you going down Saturday morning so yeah. we could pencil that in on the town meeting right Good. <laughs> other, other business. <laughs> so I didn't know whether you'd have to have a special meeting or whether you could be the one that says okay or you know. Well. <laughs> if you like it, you can do a special meeting. I mean, what what keeps us from making that decision right now? <laughs> that is, if he likes it, um, we authorize him to to. Go, I mean, yeah. we trust you to go look at it, and we don't. Give him a check. I can think of other things I'd rather do for <laughs> over seven hours one way. Yeah, yeah. Is there any reason not to no. authorize it? No. So I, I, I'd move that if it, if in your esteemed analysis you, you like what you see, um, we would approve to commit to it. Yeah, commit to it. We're going with four guys, so I mean, yeah, we just no, it's not just making you. up their mind. Yeah. yeah. Crawl underneath it, though. Oh yeah, we definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> just look at the crawl. Who's going with you? <laughs> well, Wingman was here, but he's not. Be up I'm not going to travel that far. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Butchie and uh, Mark. And I don't know who the fourth one is for sure yet. Do you have a price already on it to yeah. approve, right? I'm going to hopefully get it a little lower, but I if mean, you do people have waiting, the aren't, chances are you aren't going to get a lot lower. They have a price. Okay. She said today it was in the gal i have been dealing with said it's in mint condition or better. They always say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so, oh, we um, that. Uh, we have all the So, we moved that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Aye. 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 Go for it. Aye. 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 Okay. That was fun. That was fun. Thank you. Study. Yeah. The um, Tennis Court Reserve Fund, um, we didn't spend any money on it after Irene because we got that grant money to, to rebuild it. Uh, in this last budget, we did start putting some more money away to deal with issues. So I would move that we. Uh, is there something here that we need to sign for that, right? Um, you have to sign the board. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, okay. Can do All right, I'll have to do that later. All right, so I move to, we already put it in the budget, we might as well move yeah. to open the bank account. Yep. Yeah. The reserve account. All in favor? Okay. Uh, all right. Can you make that a little clearer? I can't quite understand him opening the bank account. It's about no. tennis. No, but it's not opening a bank account. It's more opening a specific yeah. reserve fund reserve just to hold that Reopening. Money. Yeah. Reopening. Yeah. Is it, was it closed automatically because there just wasn't activity? We weren't funding it. We weren't funding it. So it was it, so. just... 
So if I said you vote, you move to reopen a specific tennis court reserve fund since it had been closed since yeah. Irene, is that it? Or mm -hmm. no? It, it had been dormant it had since been Irene. Irene. of the sidewalks that is definitely uh, they're in need of much attention and again we're I, I sent um, Joan some pictures of some of the highlight bad spots to um, buttress our presentation to the powers that be looking for the grant money to address that uh, we already conducted a scoping study, which is one of the first steps for getting these grants, is to properly analyze it and study the situation and document the needs. And it's uh, it's definitely on my list of, of things important. You walk around town and you better keep your eyes open. Yeah. So, so I have a question: Are are you seeking at one point? There were some pretty grandiose proposals about how to approach this. Uh, personally, my main concern is getting from the corner of School Street to the corner to the uh, park. Uh, just that that main piece of, of, of uh, non-existent sidewalk on Route 100, um, which is as far as I can tell, the, the, the most used patch of, of difficulty. Um, it's definitely one of them. That was on the, the highlighter. They kind of prioritize with the, the, the worst spot and then the next worst spot. And that was definitely, that block in there is, is critical. The recommendations in the, the big projects <coughs> was to bite the bullet and do the whole thing at once because they say it's more efficient in terms of design and, and log logistics and all that and honestly I don't see it happening that way. We went ahead and tackled the section that had been identified on the north end of the park house when they were doing, they needed to tie in the sewer drain there and we were able to get in there and, and have them identify the corridor and lay in a little bit of sidewalk where it was a free-for-all for so and, and that's how it's gonna we'll, we'll find some money to, to tackle some bigger projects but I don't I, I don't know if I buy the idea that we need to just do everything all at once and to, and to wait to be able to do everything at once I think if we can Joan do you have some input on this you've been digging into this studying it's find us any money yet? Well, I'm, I'm not actively looking for money at the moment because we don't have a real plan for it. There are two things. One is um, the stormwater master plan, which, you know, ties into what happens with the sidewalks because a lot of the sidewalk issues have to do with runoff and dra poor drainage. Um, so that's going to be completed in August, so we'll have a better sense of what needs to be done. Um, that's part one, and part two is I have a call in to Bethel because a few years ago they did a sort of major sidewalk upgrade in the village, and so I've asked them to tell me who I can talk to about how they funded it, who did the design, how they determined, you know, came up with a plan for it. And they have to get back to me because I guess the people who handled it, Bethel, uh, are no longer in the town government, so I have to figure out where the files are, who I can talk to. So I might have some more information by the next. So this, the second piece of my concern was is just walking to Skip Mart Saturday evening. I literally was was almost in the middle of Route 100 because not only the sidewalk but all of that road was just you know it had that much slush on it. So when you speak about the drainage, will that that will improve that difficulty as well? Well, the idea is that this master plan will point out the major problem areas and then make a recommendation for how to fix them. So we know what, you know, what That spot right there happen. where all that water collects when they repaired the storm drain on the north end of town last summer, yeah. we had been banging on their doors saying, 
video is even showing there needs to be an addition of a drain right there because there's there's a drain up at the corner of the park and then the next one is way down by the credit union and you can see all the water collects there and they were very clear that they were only there to repair what was existing it was they were not authorized to to change anything but so, is that so that's not something the town is responsible for that's a state the, the state is responsible for the drainage on route 100 because it's a state okay. state highway okay. so it gets tricky um, negotiating who's going to be responsible for what and, but it's that the stormwater plan definitely ties into how the sidewalks are all going to work because right. you don't want to spend a bunch of money on a sidewalk then have the state come and tear it up because they want something in the middle of it so is part of what part of what you're working on is communicating with the state as to when they're when and if they're coming to deal with it it's all intertwined mm -hmm. like the, the i don't i'm not aware of anything the state's planning to do on route 100. well how, how do we get the state's attention <laughs> or commitment to do something well when we got the state's attention last time around 100 is because a big hole opened up in the middle of the road so. <laughs> Or you suggest that they go out well, there no, I'm not going to say that on camera, but get a big front end. But it's, it's, we just have to keep making noise about it and, and working through the steps and putting the pieces together. And it's, it's would, would it help for them to hear from individual citizens regarding it? Is that a waste of time? It, it's, if you've got the time, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. Also. Martha, you were oh, going to ask something? I was going to say, um, there's a section of sidewalk along in front of the park house going towards the Catholic Church and everything. That's for 100 as well. So the state is also, I assume, responsible for that. Well, no, the that. state is responsible for the drainage along Route 100. Oh, okay. Not, not but the not the sidewalks. No. Okay. I, I right. didn't think so, but I wanted no. to make sure I understood that. Okay. Well, I was just thinking that's one of the ones that's got a lot of bumps. And yeah, it does. And that was too. identified on the study is that it's low enough it actually collects water in there. Well, streets. I've seen kids stumble that were walking back and forth to school. Probably they weren't watching where they're going, but even so, somebody yeah. could get hurt. So that's, that's not something that's going to be solved quickly, but it's definitely, it's, it's on our, you know, it's on the radar. Uh, Thank you. Do you have some phone calls? <laughs> you had, uh, you had uh, some comments? Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. So uh, first I'd like to thank the selectmen for Mike, Mike. Mm -hmm. have fun with the logs. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to thank the select board for clarifying the confusion relative to the winter maintenance of the Bingo Road and the Bingo Basin. Um, in the last few weekends, uh, we've observed several young families with kids and dogs and wagons. You know, they park down at the cemetery and they walk down to the bridge or even further and come back. And a couple of them have stopped and made the comment that, boy, this is great. We have some place in town where we can go where it's flat, it's plowed, it's sanded, and there's not a lot of traffic. Um, so that tells us that the Bingo Road is still very relevant to the recreation on health and enjoyment of the citizens of this town. So I think that's just important to acknowledge that that's you know, still a pretty important place and it gets very heavily used for that purpose. Uh, secondly, I'd like to just get a public update as to any approved plans for any work to be done on the Pine Gap Road, issuing of permits, civil engineering, any of that sort of thing. I'm sort of out of the loop and I don't really know what's going on. And I'm just curious there's, as there, At this point, there's no agreements or permissions given for any kind of work on, on Pine Gap Road. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, last thing is we have some pictures we'd like to present to the select board just so that they have um, some objective evidence as to what the scope of that work might be uh, as we continue to monitor some of the runoff and the melting and the high water events on the Pine Gap Road. It's pretty impressive how that water runs down that road. A couple of weeks ago, February 20th, which is where these color photos were taken, uh, there's some pretty significant streams and runoff, which just, again, gives you a sense of what the scope of work would be when you finally do have to approach that. So I'd like to present this. Sure. And that's all I have. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. Great. So Frank. Sure. Yes. You had um, some information.
information that you wanted to talk about the, the school property? Yeah, and I'd like to review the articles too. Mm -hmm. That's some of the um, financial, those are some of the financial problems. indicating that the uh, the school board meeting that was scheduled for this Wednesday, that's going to be moved until March 7th, Wednesday next week. And, and I think we do, I think the members of the board would appreciate some follow-up to this meeting um, at that meeting. But, um, this is a this is a copy of the articles of agreement that. Um, voters in, in Rochester approved um, back in uh, November. I'm just going to go through the articles. I mean, the relevant ones are five and six. Right. So did everyone get a copy? Yeah. Uh, article 5A, the Unified District will assume all capital debt of the forming districts, including both principal and interest, as may exist at the close of business on June 30th, 2018. I'm sorry, what, uh, the, um, the context of this is that a Rochester School District and the Stockbridge School District are becoming one merged district. And um, in, in accord with Act 46, there were articles of agreement. Um, and these are consistent with the article, other articles of agreement that have been um, you know, promulgated and other mergers across the state and even across in, in the supervisory <coughs> union as well. So the Unified District will assume all capital debt of the forming districts, uh, including both principal and interest, as may exist at the close of business on June 30, 2018. The Unified District shall assume any and all uh, general operating surpluses and deficits of the forming districts that may exist at the close of business on June 30, 2018. In addition, reserve funds identified for specific purposes will be transferred to the Unified District and will be used for said purposes unless otherwise determined through appropriate legal procedures. C, the debt and funds specified above subject to finalization of audits shall be transferred to the new Unified District in accord with procedures and timelines established by the Unified District Board of School Directors following this organizational meeting. D, the forming districts will uh, transfer the Unified to the Unified District any pre-existing school district specific endowments or rather restricted endowments that may exist on June 30th, 2018. Scholarship funds are like, a, are like accounts held by school districts or the supervisory union prior to June 30th, 2018 that have specific conditions of use will be used in accordance with said uh, provisions. So, so those are the articles that um, have to do with you know, debts and balances and uh, special accounts. <coughs> I have also um, some of the figures that pertain to those, you know, valuations of property and debts that uh, occurred in the uh, a proposal that was uh, approved by State Board of Education back in November. I, I don't know if people want to see copies of those. Too. Some people sitting here are, and I'm thinking of um, Nancy Woolley and Barb the Hart, and um, you know, people people have been working on the. Uh, um, the Volunteer Budget Committee know 
far and away much more about bonds and debts and so on than I do. But those are the those are the figures that uh, were included in the uh, in the proposal. Just to get an idea of you know what you know what things are, what things were what what they thought things were worth. As as for property, no later than June 30, 2018, the forming district will convey to the unified district for the sum of one dollar and subject to all encumbrances of record, all of their school related real and personal property, including all land, buildings, and contents. The Rochester School Board will seek to sell the dandelion daycare building prior to June 30, 2018. No elementary schools will be closed without the manner of voting the unified district board of school directors, an affirmative vote of the town uh, in which, and an affirmative vote of the town in which it's located. Uh, C, um, very important provision. In the event that an at, sub, sub, at sub, subsequent time as the unified district board of directors determines in its discretion the continued possession of the real property, including land and buildings, conveyed to it by one or more of the forming districts are unnecessary for the continued operation of the Unified District and its educational programs. The Unified District shall offer for sale such real property to the town in which such real property is located for the sum of one dollar. Subject to all encumbrances of record, the assumption of payment of all outstanding bonds and notes and the repayment of any school construction aid or grants required by Vermont law in addition to costs of capital improvements subject to July 1st, 2018. The conveyance of any of the above school property shall be conditioned upon the town owning and util utilizing the real property for community and public purposes for a minimum of five years. In the event a town elects to sell the real property prior to five years of ownership, the town shall compensate the unified district for all capital improvements and renovations completed after the formation of the unified district and before the sale to the town. In the event the town elects not to require ownership of such real property, the unified district shall, pursuant to Vermont statutes, sell the property upon terms and conditions established by uh, the unified district board of directors. So that's what that's what um, 291 citizens voted in favor of um, at, uh, at, at the vote. Um, and then I've been doing some, some work on this. Um, uh, Joanne was kind enough to you know, send me some of, the, uh, some of the deeds that are relevant. Actually, uh, there, 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 is a, there is a deed for Dandelion Daycare Center that I need to find. I guess it was conveyed um, to the uh, school district in 1955, so I don't have, um, any, I don't have any paperwork on that. And um, I, I, I doubt actually that it will be sold as of July 1st, 2018. Um, just in terms of the sale of property um, in the um, in the in this valley and in surrounding towns, but also because um, the deed was not only for the Dandelion Building but also property. That's so the, the first one. Right. Is it the first one? one? From Elementary Danny. school property. Smith Canyon to the Rochester Town School District. That's the elementary school property, and it also has bike house and lot. Oh, it's, it, so it, it's this so one it here? Is that. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So that includes the house, too. Okay. Uh, uh, so, yeah. I mean, so um, if Dandelion Daycare was sold before then, that money would go into the school fund, so that would still be part of this deal. It's not like if Dandelion Daycare, Daycare gets sold before. You, if, uh, if Dandelion Daycare is sold before that, then it, then it won't be part of this deal. Well, that where would that money go? That's part of the school property. Does that go into the school's pockets or the town's pockets? <coughs> I mean, you know, I have to, I have to think that. Um, I mean. It, I don't because, actually know the, I because, don't know the answer to that. I mean, because they're, they're talking about not only the property, but the the, the funds and the fund balances right. and the, and the debt. I assume it would have to go into some Rochester school fund, not I would into think a merge. So, which would make it part of this deal. So it's well, kind I mean, of irrelevant. This, this deal is conveying that property, if it's not sold, to, to the, district. the merge district, right. right? rather than Rochester school district. Well, they're talking about everything going into the merge district. If it if if it isn't sold by July first, if it is sold by July first, then I think it becomes fund funding that 
could be used by Rochester schools specifically. But I don't know the answer to that. And that's a good question. Right? I mean, that's, a, that's part of the reason I'm here today before you. Just to get some questions asked that I don't have the answers for. And also just to involve the select board in the town and what's obviously- Carlin's got a question. Yeah. Okay. Let me just, we just went right through that building brought it up to state standards for daycare, right? right. Yeah. Uh, not all of them. Not all of them. Why? Not all of them? There's a few problems left. No, but, but my understanding... Well, anyway. Yeah, okay. We've got all this money invested into it. Everybody's <coughs> crying for daycare, it seems. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is there any way the town could purchase the building and lease it out to somebody that would run a daycare that opened at six o'clock in the morning and stayed open till seven o'clock at night. So no, people that, you know, that, that have to drive two hours to work one way would have some place to leave their kids and pick them up. You know, when when Kathy Knight and her husband, um, um, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, Patty Harvey was there, you know, doing, you know, permitting for paint. Um, you know, I mean. I, I think if Kathy Knight had remained our principal, that would have been open as a daycare. But somehow with the change of administration, um, the time was lost and impetus was lost. Um, but frankly, I, I mean, it was it was set up and permitted to be a, be a licensed daycare center. Yeah. And, it, it, and frankly, I mean, I, I was reading the 2013 planning report, and it, it's specifically addressing you know, a crying need for, you know, child care. Yeah. And just, but I just, I was just, I was just surprised that, um, I mean, it just, um, and I know there was some effort to, you know, get it started as a daycare for four-year-olds and, you know, three-year-olds. So. But, it, but it seems to me it's, it's a resource that, um, you know, the town should find valuable in terms of, you know, completing, you know, it's, it's, you know, a, a need that the that the planning commission, uh, the, the town planning, you know, is addressing. So, so I don't I don't know if the town would be interested in in, in purchasing it. I mean, by you definitely didn't budget for it. No, no, no. no, 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 no but you got a valuation of ninety thousand dollars. It's valued at ninety thousand dollars. No, I mean according to that, but. Okay. Um, yeah. what, do you, what do you think and you sell for? What do you, what do you say according to this? You have a different value. Well, I mean, I, I mean, one realtor thought it was in the neighborhood of the 70s. Okay. Yeah. That's awful. Nancy? Well, I think this past year, year and a half, there was an effort to, to get information from townspeople on whether if it became a functioning daycare, mm -hmm. were there people who would be interested in using it? And the school could not come up and I think the school board was involved in it, they could not come up with enough people to warrant opening it as a daycare, even though they had Orange County parent-child willing to come over here and operate it. But they could not get enough interest to, to um, take it any further. What were the hours of operation, Nancy, you know? They were going to accommodate whatever people needed, but they could not find anybody willing to um, commit to it. This is just child care? It's daycare. Daycare. Yes. For, for children? Yes. yes. Okay. Just children. They may need it for the adults. <laughs> I don't think they <laughs> would have senior sent a to deal with adults. <laughs> <laughs> senior <laughs> center might have more appeal. But, but, they, but, so but here you're talking about person. just the yeah. bottom yeah. floor. Yeah. But they there were was, going to do there it. space above that that I think could be turned into office spaces or could be, could be, you know. But right now it's folded into the school properties and it's part yeah. of this consideration, so. Yeah, so, yeah. again, okay. unless it's sold. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, it, with the day nine daycare building in what, 1950? I heard 1950, what was that date? 55. Uh, 55, yeah. 62 years ago. Um, yeah, I, that's my birthday year. Yeah. Um, when that building was given to the town, what was the structure of the school in relation to that individual providing this building to the structure of what the school was, not the structure of the school today? They bought what, it to build the elementary school on it. That's right. I, I'm just asking, so I don't know the history, well, but I'm saying 
the owner of that building Smith donated Canning. Smith Canning. No, he saw sawmill burn. And he lived in that house. And he did, how did he transfer it to the he town? He sold it to the, sold the, the town. town school district. He sold it to the town. So that town school district, that structure. Which used to be here. Well, the town structure. How different was that town structure at that time than we're currently in? The relation, in into the relationship of if that property belongs to the town you or belongs right to the right school. There, you listened. <laughs> Didn't you, Terry? When you have it a lot more kids in your class today. <laughs> it's it, what they. But it provided a, it provided a spot for a future for for the elementary school and for the high school. The high school ultimately. Used that, high school used that building for years for home ec. So, but back in '55. We didn't have silo type activity with the school separate from the town and how the town and the school functioned Should together. There was a school district and a, and a municipality. It, but it kept changing too, correct? But it didn't. It didn't. There were two separate districts. You can go back in the town report. I'm, I'm just asking, you know, I know you know history. I'm just saying, I'm just wondering if this property belongs to the town? No, it belongs so, to the school. school. Absolutely. So, so that should answer Frank's question, right? Yeah, he's asking whether the town should buy the property. So he's yeah. asking, because he belongs to the school. So after we <laughs> just, just after the trust fund is what dumped about three hundred thousand into the school budget, why don't the school just give the building back, uh, give it to the town, since we gave all that money to the school budget for the last X amount of years? I mean, what's why do we have to buy it? I mean, we've been dumping money into the school budget, which disappeared, and we have a result of what we got. <laughs> so why don't we just give the building back to the town and, and compensate for that 300000 I don't know. I'm just wondering. You know, we, we did pay for it. How many times have we got to pay for it? Hmm. Hmm. Harlan, what do you take? What's your take on that? <laughs> I, I've got another question. Okay, another question. <laughs> another property, school property on Bingo. What's going on with that? Yeah, it's exposed, right? Of course, that's still school, school maintenance. What that do you mean, the Johnson forest? property? Oh, that that isn't owned by the oh, um, that isn't owned course. by the that's owned by the principal the and the students. students. Which right. principal? Which principal? Whoever happens to be here at the moment. Who? Quick, did it? Yeah, cross from the whole thing. So that, did that answer that, Harlan? Uh, no, I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. That, that property is actually owned by the students and the principal? Yep. Not, not the school district. That would, there was a, so, so that's not part of this deal as far as I understand. Is that no. your understanding? It's not no. Okay. It's not part of the deal. So who, who owns it now? The students. Who owns it after the this deal's done? The students. The students is on it. Yeah. And the elementary eight is it the elementary the school? elementary students and the principal. The principal. Yeah, you, you have that the deed there too. Babies and you can own it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Is it lease land? I'll buy it. Yeah. I'll take all the lease land you got. See, Nancy has that deed. She can read it. School forest. Dated. Gotta get down through here, Joanne. Nineteen forty-eight. Um, that's when the school forest was. Th that's when the school forest came into being, and, and it, it came from. I think it came from. Oh, I'll have the store up there in Hancock. Earl Hubbard? Earl Hubbard. The Earl Hubbard is how the students and the town and the principal got it. Well, what is the wording then? Said property shall be under the sole and exclusive control of the principal of Rochester High School and the students attending said high school. The use, income, benefits, and profits from said land shall be for the benefit of the students of Rochester High School. Mm -hmm. And in 
1948, they wouldn't have thought it was going to close. <laughs> um, for such purposes as they may decide by a majority vote. I'll buy it, though. It I'll buy it. What do you want for it? I'm not a student. He's not authorized so, to sell. Who's going to end sell. up with it, though? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's going, going to be uh, one of the interesting pieces of the character of Rochester. But that piece of property is owned by close. the high school students in town, and they come and they go. Is and it high school or the high school? I don't think it's all students. Just all students. I think it's all students. Yeah, they're all students. Not all students now, but it says students. I have a question on attachment C where it says property to be transferred, Bingo Road Forest Land Property. It says it right here. So if it doesn't belong to be transferred, attachment C apparently may be wrong. That's fine. No, it's a, no, it's, it, it won't be transferred. It's listed as property to be transferred on attachment C. Well, then that's an error. No, it's just no, it's just it's just a title as you made up as well. No, it it will not be trans the bingo forest land property will not be transferred. It can't be. You heard that bolt. Well note it note it somewhere officially. By exclusion, by not by, by not being mentioned, it's by exclusion. Thank you for pointing that up, Walter. Sure enough. There no values stated. Is it I am? I'll give you ten bucks for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you three hundred thirty-three. But two. I'll give you three thirty-three. Is it? Is it? Does the? I mean, maybe it's not, maybe it's something that, I mean, I'll ask you, is there an interest in the towns, you know, um, you know, taking over that property for the purpose of having a day there? You can't do that. You can't do that? No, it's, it's not, it belongs to the no, kids. No, no, the no, 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 no
the new board is in charge. Is that correct? Not until July. Not until July. Until July first. Yeah. So there's exist. still an active old board, which yes. you represent. Correct. Yes. That was. You know, I just want to get clarity on, you know, how this interaction is going on between the old board and the new board. Transition time. And their their interest. I mean, would it be good to have a present new board member accompany you? when you're presenting this stuff? Uh, the, um, it turns out that um, the one member of the new board, Amy Wilt, um, has found it um, um, more, enjoyable, more enjoyable to be in Florida right now with her kids. And it's school vacation. Assorted Harvey's give her a break. school no vacation. Figures, huh? But actually, I mean, we, we have been in close, I mean, she is the link between the old board and the uh, new board. And actually, she's been, I think she's been quite active in looking at these issues, she's too. She's been very but active right, right. now. We have, article we have how many new board members? We have three. And what are we Dr. talking Dr. about? On the, the new merger board. The new merger board has six, of which okay. three are. So if she's on vacation, she can pass the baton. She doesn't have to. She's got to be on the new board. This is still a select well, board meeting. Frank is yeah. doing us a favor by bringing this up. I don't think we should find fault with the no, 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 school I, board I'm, for not being here. No, I'm just trying to understand. He's and bringing Jeff, just ask Jeff Sherman is at an executive uh, board meeting. Got to get all in no, no, no. Just wondering how we become a. Yeah. We learn this stuff yeah, when everybody else does. does. Right. Okay. I'm, I'm just trying to open the lines of communication. Yeah. You're fine. And um, you know, hopefully have people ask me some questions that I need to follow up on. And, you know, it's just, but I, but, I, but I didn't want town meeting to arrive and someone asked a question about school property and you have to say, well, gee, I don't know, nobody from the school board has come to us about that at all. But, so I just want to, you know, lay out some of these things now. And, just, and then there will be a school board meeting the 7th where this could continue as well. So has this yeah. this um, topic of giving or selling dandelion daycare back to the town or to the town? It was never. That's, owned. that's my is idea. Is that, that your idea, or are you presenting that from the school board? No, that's my. Idea. That's your idea. <laughs> Just had this epiphany. Yeah, I'm gonna, with Mesa's help. Patty, yeah. Patty, 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 probably look at me as if I'm insane. Well, what is the wish of the select board? Is, is there a wish that the select board, the select board wants to call that sell the property at fair market value or sell it to the town for a dollar? You mean the school board? No, the board. No, no, no. school board. I just, I mean, it just, I mean, I just was thinking this myself. Right? Okay. So, so I'll, so I'll, you know, I'll, I'll suggest a proposal. Because we're going to go to the meeting next right? week. But I, you know, I, I think the, well, the, the town meeting is one place where the select board and the school board, to a large extent, may be present, even yeah. though the select board is holding the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it will be a add to the interesting discussions we. I, I mean, I, I think that could be a very lively topic of discussion yeah. at the end of the town meeting. Yeah. Do you, there's also an annual school meeting on March 26th that this can be discussed yeah. at, too. Yeah. But I think it will come out at both meetings. I think it should come out at both meetings. Moving right along. All right. Um, I think that was Yes. Okay. This is on the um, somewhere in all this stuff I lost. So, um, now that we've dealt with um, the additions to the agenda, we'll move on to the minutes from um, the last select board meeting, which wasn't as exciting as this one. But we still have the minutes, and I'd, I'd move we accept them as presented. All second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And we also have the minutes from the special select board meeting that was on Wednesday, February 21st. And I would move to accept these. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And Frank? Joan, we touched on some of your updates earlier, but do you have anything else that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, it'll be quick, because it's mostly stuff that um, you probably really won't be able to focus on until after the town meeting. Um, 
On the wastewater upgrade project, there's a contract signing with Heber excavating scheduled for March 19th. Um, and we already have a resolution due for you to sign on behalf of the town. So I'll just remind you of that uh, sometime before the 19th. Okay. It's going to be here in the office at 10 o'clock. Um, the rest of my time for the past couple of weeks or more has been on road projects of one type or another. Um, last week we did get word that we received a uh, fiscal year 19 grant. We applied for that in October from Better Roads. Um, and that's for a road erosion inventory, which required is required as the first step in the municipal road general permit, um, which is now getting ramped up by the state. Um, and Two Rivers is going to be managing that erosion survey with town time input as a town match for that grant. Um, we've gotten notice of our annual visit to be scheduled with VTrans District for uh, and that will be to discuss our annual financial plan that we have to file every year and also discuss grants for projects we want to do in the upcoming uh, fiscal year. Um, and apropos of that, April 15th is the due date for the next round of structures and class two grants. <coughs> and I've talked a little bit with Dan about possible projects for structures grant. Um, the other one that's come up this evening is um, that retaining wall on Bethel Mountain Road. We've applied at least twice that I know of for a grant to do the engineering work on that. Um, uh, Robert Marr did it in maybe it was 2015, I think, or 2016, and then I applied last year also, and both times they've been turned down. Um, I don't know why. So I think there would be a good topic of discussion when we meet with the district board folks. Um, which will be sometime before the structures grant is due. So we can just ask them, you know, what, why they keep turning it down and is there some way we can get some attention from, from them to do that work? Since it sounds like it's just getting worse. Um, um, Dan has also suggested a retaining wall replacement on Buttles Road. And so if you can think of any other priorities before <coughs> that meeting is set up, that would be good so we can discuss them all with um, the VTrans folks and get their feedback on what they think is going to get prioritized so we know what to expect going forward. And now I'll be preparing those grants for submission. Um, what else? Um, well, I mentioned the municipal roads general permit is ramping up. The permit itself was approved at the state level after a series of hearings and revisions um, at the end of January. And so, um, the next step is to get that road erosion inventory done, and that'll give us uh, a bunch of projects that we'll need to start working on going forward. And I'm in the process of putting together a, like a two-page summary for you of what the municipal permit, general permit, is all about, and what the deadlines are for various things we have to do as a town. So I'll give that to you after the town meeting, so we can start focusing on that. Pages. Well, I tried to distill it down to what you really need Thank to know. Because <laughs> there's an awful lot of information that gets very confusing after a while. Yeah. And, uh, Dan, aside from the, um, the upcoming road postings for mud season and the talk, are there anything else on the road that you want to talk about? Getting rid of the 550. Yeah. We've got. Yeah. No one really wants to bid on it because we want to hold the truck until uh, the new one is done. Greens are the only one, unless G Stone, they told me you did by 6 o'clock tonight, they didn't get back to it. Um, but it doesn't have to happen right today if you guys are willing to meet again in the next couple days. Uh, to trade that in, Greens, $11,571. It's going to cost us. And the body is. 40, 45064 the only one that has given us a price or want to give us a price on the body. <coughs> Dodge won't give us a price because they can't tell us when a truck will be built. And GMC and Chevy do not make one that big. So I gotta hope Fosters won't give us they won't give us a price because they won't they don't have any idea when the build date for it will be. 
uh, West Rutland ordered one in January, and they still don't have a build date. So they said they won't even, they aren't going to do it, or they won't give us a price on it. So we're down to two, or one right now. <laughs> I don't know why G's phone hasn't got back to me, but I told them it had to be, I told them it had to be Friday, and then I sent them another email today and said it had to be today, hit by six o'clock. Nobody, no email yet. So is the, this is getting bids from these people? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bids on the replacement. On a replacement for the 550, right? 550. Yeah. We can wait longer, or? Well, we don't really want to wait that long. We might have what that happened last time. No. We yes. just to go ahead and beat the town meeting we want to mm -hmm. order. I mean, I gave him a deadline at 6 o'clock tonight. Satisfy our, our requirement to, to have three bids if we've approached we've, three people. We've about, tried to. We've tried to. Yeah. And, like and we drive. all know that it's it's nice to do business with Ted Green because they're mm -hmm. right here yeah. and they take care of us. Mm -hmm. you know, but. And they were not hesitant at all on giving us price. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this that is would. a lot less than we were expecting, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have the whole thing built for. A little over 56. That was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Greens want 550. Yes, sir. I'm willing to give it to him. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Be inclined to Let's move to just go with that. Okay. Yeah. I'd move that. I don't think you're going to find a better so, deal. No. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that sounds too good. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I even had Joanne read it when I got it. Yeah. To make sure I read that right. Make and them sign that you read it. That's plus warranty, which is dependent on the years, the hours, and the mileage. It can be up to a little over, I think it's like 7,400. Yeah. But I'm not sure how many hours are on that one. So I don't dare even say that's what's going to get us is the hours. It's not the, the mileage. Yeah. So it'll depend on hours, you know, 5,000 hours, 4,000. It, it's less if people with less miles or less hours. Yeah. I, I think we should have you to go with that, I move that. Make a motion to uh, go ahead and purchase some new 550 Ted. from Ted Green Ford. Yeah. yeah. Second that, all in favor? Aye. 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 And the body for yeah. Fairfield. Yeah, we get one then too. So Make a motion. Second. Good, I hear the good whole deal. Thing. Ted Green Ford and what was the other thing? We'll do it right now. And the body is from Make Fairfield? Make a motion to uh, have the body built by HB Fairfield. I'll second that. Uh -huh. Yes. All in favor? All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you're going to beat that. No, not on truck price for sure. Yeah. Not to Fairfield's cheaper than the rest of them on the, the body. Yes. That was the deal we just went through with Tenco. I got yeah. our, our so we called it yeah. tomorrow, so this truck will be yeah, so for yeah. snow flies next year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fairfield's are good people. Where are they located? Morrisville. Morrisville. But they're north. Well, which one do you want to go to? They're all over. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a close one. Yeah. <coughs> all right. Red? Oh. Town red. <laughs> Martha? I just noticed something on the agenda about no pass, a request for no passing sign. Uh, we're like headed that, that way. I haven't okay, quite got there I yet. I thought that might be other rules. Yeah. <coughs> Are you the reason why that's on there? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Complete innocent. <laughs> that's enough for the highway? Right. Terry, got any updates on the water sewer world? No, we do. No, things running and flushing. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a question on that. 
um, last year I was speaking about. Do, do you mind coming around since everybody else is on camera? Right? Yeah, might you as well. may as well be too. You might as well be too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was quoted last year at the meeting speaking about the septic system. And there's the last sentence, I, I was confused by that. It talks about the $350,000 Site 3 number. And uh, actually, I was speaking uh, about Site 4. Once it fails, how much is it going to be costing us once Site 4 fails in the process of building a waste treatment plant? And are we actually planning for this failure? Where there's first up, there's um, there, we had no plans for building a waste treatment plant. I not until site four fails. Site four has got a replacement right there where it is. Mm -hmm. So I mean, if you get thirty years out, you're gonna get another, at least another thirty out of same place. Possibly with our climate issues, we don't know. That with the White River, the way the soil is over there, and what we test is. I'm monitoring tubes. Most the shallowest one is down. The lowest one is at least 50 feet to the water. And and all tests good. Mm -hmm. So we have no worries about site four. Well, I didn't say there's no worries. I mean, we, we got 200 be. hookups. The only thing that's going to hurt it is if you don't pump them regularly. Okay. But isn't it true by law we can't go with the switch treatment? You'd have to. Well, it was suggested. Get a treatment plant, you'd have to have an act of Congress. Yeah. Literally an act well, of Congress. Okay. Because well, when the engineer was here, that was his. We could not do it. No. Well, that was his solution, no. though. No, only if we couldn't find another spot to put it. Only, I mean, it was mentioned if that could not if find once force, if site four fails, Someday, so, someday. Well, so guess what? If you have to the treatment plant, you're going to rebuild it every 20 to 20. Well, that's years. what I'm concerned about. Triple over what you, site four would be. Well, that's one. that's the idea of planning for the next x amount of years that we know what we're going to do because a treatment plant is what we won't be around we won't <laughs> but it will probably cost 10 million dollars i don't want to say anything about probably be 10 million dollars <laughs> so so anyhow i, I, I just was, but i wasn't clear why that was written in that the way it was that's all uh, it's in the old minutes for last year. Now you said, first you said last year. Yeah, Are you last talking year's about last meeting. year or meeting. last meeting? No, last year's meeting in the town report. The last town report. Last year's meeting in the town, town report. report. The minutes. Okay. Okay. Site so 4 was put on commission 2004. That's when it started. So it's 14 years old. Right. Yeah. Uh, and also in the town report, um, Terry, where what page is the reserve for the fire department? Where the rest of them are. I well. I don't, I, I don't, I, I, I don't either. That, that's. <laughs> I was just wondering. Do we have the sixty-five thousand dollars? We will have. We will have. Well, if they vote this money. This fifteen thousand. Right. Okay, but I just didn't find it in town report. It's right here. What page, please? I'm coming to it. <laughs> I saw it. I just saw it tonight. Let's see here. The fire department. Equipment fund is on page twenty-seven. And what is the total? Well, the total as of last June, June was thirty. Was thirty-five thousand dollars. And that helps to pay the thirty-nine thousand that we. And are going we have to cost. another appropriation that will be going in for this current year, and we budgeted another amount for next year. And, and that is separate from the fire department's expenses. Yes. Yep. That's mm -hmm. correct. Which is thirty-nine or thirty-five thousand. I'm just trying to learn how to understand the town report. 
It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, right. Sort of. <laughs> so, uh, no, I was just wondering if we had sixty-five thousand dollars for a new vehicle. I didn't know. I didn't. We wouldn't be buying it if we didn't have it. I'm just trying to, you know. I'm trying to comprehend because the dates are June 2016 or fiscal you, year. Do you got your mind wrapped around it now? I'm getting it. I'm just trying to figure out how the other voters figure this out. So, uh, but anyhow, those are two questions I had about the town report. Okay. Okay. Specifically utilities. And um, that's um, okay. So, new business. We had a request for a no passing sign section of Bethel Mountain Road. And I guess I, uh, from what I understand, that would be when you... It was requested by Nancy McIntyre, who lives after you get past Bindrum Lane and you just get around that corner and there's a little flat before you head down the dip. She lives on the left-hand side and she said they've had quite a few close calls because people get on that and then they start to pass as they're pulling out in either direction. And currently that's not a passing zone in terms of it's pavement not, it's marking. Not or a, or is it? It's yeah. not a, okay. no, it's a yeah. double yeah. white line, but the people the pass there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it would, we can do that. What are we? All the gray area. <laughs> I'll flip side anyway. Well, well would we have to check in with the state to see if we could fly with I think we do, yeah. So that's still scheduled to be, which it has been for a couple of years at least now, to be that whole whole mountain resigned. For four years now. Mm -hmm. What, in regards to truck traffic? No, all the signs. We've signed a contract with the state to do that. And we're still waiting for them to show up yes. and do that. So yeah, this would be a good opportunity to remind them that we're waiting and we want to mm -hmm. edit what we're asking for mm -hmm. a little bit. Who would, who would we be talking to? Chris? Rita Seco. Rita? Yeah. She was my source of information last time. It was last summer I asked her about it. And it was just, well, they didn't get to it this year, which is what they said the year before as well. It's a good idea. Yeah. 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 No, no. 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 Uh, Terry's still going to do it. Pass that on pretty quick. But we're still in the passing zone in the meeting. And we're going to move on to the records management guidelines. And, um, <clears throat> Martha? Martha, you might not want to miss this one. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about the records management guideline for the um, for the town, which this is, is this a new mandate or are we just? Um, yeah, the, we, each town has to have a policy for record retention. Record retention. Which is, you know, all the old stuff can be shredded or recycled after a certain number of yep. years. Um, so there's a lot of stuff downstairs that goes back to the 70s that is probably okay to shred. Well, there's specific um, guidelines. There are specific no, guidelines. Especially for after every we kind adopt of this. Paper. Yeah. Yep. And you've got the um, safety shred coming, coming at the end of March. March 30th. March 30th. Yeah. So this would. We would probably want to have this in, um, say, beginning March of 2018 mm -hmm. to have this policy in place. So I'd, I'd move we adopt this policy, which conforms to the, the rules about what we have to keep for how long. And, and if you want to know all the details, you can come and find it and, and read it. But I'm not going to read it here because it's um, boring. boring. Yeah. <laughs> well, just to speed things along, I can do it. All in favor? Okay. Okay. okay, so we can stay down forever. forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they do with this film. I'm sorry, I didn't hear it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> we have some microfilm that they're coming to check and make sure that it's still valid. Oh. And as far as I can tell, that's it. Except for um, paying some bills. Awesome. Thank you all for yeah. coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.